Welcome back to Cartel Tycoon, folks. We are starting a new game because there was a bug in the first one where it didn't actually unlock all the storyline. So we are starting a new one where we will follow the missions that pop up because that seems to be crucial to being able to do anything. So first things first, we will go through this. This business will be the death of me. The soil is infertile. The lab is inefficient. We're running out of money. I have to load the lab to its efficiency. Get at least something from this godforsaken soil. Hmm, maybe I should try expanding the production chain. Lord help me. All right, I will help you. So build one more warehouse. Build at least five farms growing cannabis. We have three. Keep efficiency of a lab to more than 40%. I think maybe what happened last time that bro broke the game, I'm not sure if that's it, but uh, that's my guess, is that we built over here because that kind of ended the the chain, you might say, the, the chain of uh, these uh, missions. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what he says here. So build a warehouse. Uh, communication, warehouse, we'll build another warehouse, uh, let's build it here, mm, let's build it up here, okay, and then we need to build two more farms, and this over here is a little bit more fertile with uh, cannabis, so we'll build a farm here, and a farm here. And then we need some roads. We'll do gravel roads. Take that there, take that there, take that there. And we'll also hook up to the main road up here. So there. All right. So we have the warehouse. And we need an additional destination of the airport. The aerodrome. So there we go. All right. We are getting there. Let's speed up time a little bit. I think I want to fix this road. Let's demolish this. I, I want to make it a, a better road. Uh, we'll go gravel road. Okay. There we go. The lab efficiency is not quite up to 40% yet, but it will get there. It should get there. Is it looking 40 in there? We have 33 in there. Come on, bring the lab efficiency up. There we go. It's up to 40%. Press reward, lab one. Thank you, my lord, for guiding my thoughts and my actions. Without you, I am but a worm. I got word from my guys that our warehouses are full of merchandise. Now I should sort out the sales. Uh, I own a nearby aerodrome. It's time to remind the workers over there who puts the food on their tables. Okay, so we need to deliver some dried cannabis to the aerodrome with one of our lieutenants. So let's say deliver this over there. And then we need to produce and sell 50 units of dried cannabis. We sold six. That's not a whole lot. Let's move back here. And we're getting a little bit of money. Not a whole lot, but some. Let's deliver that over there as well. And we sold 16 units. All right. Let's move back to the warehouse and we'll start sending some money over for laundering. There's no money there. There's money in there. 
Let's move over here and grab that money and deliver it to the bank up here. Right, so 26 units. Let's move down here and see if there's any dried cannabis here. There's not. Guess there's some over here. Three only. That's not enough. But we can launder some more money. Alrighty. Thirty-six we've sold. Very nice. Okay, is there any more money? No. Nope. There's some down here now. 2,500. We'll wait until there's a bit more. Alright. 46. There's nine more on the way over there. Does it have any stored up? 42. Oh so yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good. How much money is here? None over here. There's 4,900. Let's see where this guy goes before we move. He's coming here. All right. Let's. Ah, hola, Felix. I'm Pablo Crespo, commissioner of the National Police. Didn't expect I would be interested in a small time thug like you, did you? I'm joking. I'm joking. I've heard about your business from my men and I thought we could become good friends. Of course, our friendship has a down payment. A grunt and laugh resonated through the phone. And good health to you, Mr. Crespo, but I'm not interested in your friendship. No, no, you seem to have misunderstood me. Sorry about that, Felix. You can't deny my, me your friendship. On the other end of the phone, someone was clearly trying to stifle their laughter. In a month, my guys will come for uh, the money. Be ready to provide them with some green bricks for the foundation for, of our good friendship. Uh, fuck you, or ha having friends. So, having friends means that we pay a hundred thousand, uh, but fuck you, we only pay fifty thousand, but we do get an attention star. We're going to select that. See you in a month. Okay. Hello, my name is Panfilo Ramos. I'm head of the Special Operations Command. Now, this is what we what didn't happen last time. We're keeping a close eye on you. Right now, you're now our lapdogs, the police, are working you. They will bite you, chewing off one building at a time, halting your operation. I could command them to stop, and you'd be free to continue your growth. For a fee, of course. I couldn't stop them now. I couldn't stop them. Then you'll get what you deserve. We're not going to give a bribe because we don't have 50,000, so don't give a bribe. Okay, I'm a businessman and a good family man. I'll not deal with the malparitos from the con from the government. All right, let's... Dirty money, they say. They say money has no smell. Bullshit. Dirty money has both smell and weight. It's hard to spend hard store and it attracts cops. We should launder it. I agree. So, let's... Deliver this dirty money uh, over here, and then we'll grab all of it and deliver up here. Okay, let's move back down here, because uh, Felix here, he has cannabis cultivator, reduces the interval of cannabis production by 25% in an area. Let's see, how much cannabis do we have over here? 43, so that's okay. We're not attracting any attention. There's 29. There's 4, 24. So it's all good. It's all good. And we're basing, basically selling it as fast as we can over here at the airport. Uh, I mean, the planes are going non-stop. So we're all good. Let's see, there's 2,500 here. There's four, uh, 5,000 there. Let's deliver that over there and deliver all of it up here. Get some more laundered. Okay. And move back. So these farms are running at 55% efficiency. 
These are running at 60%, so they're slightly better. Not by a whole lot, but a little bit. Okay, we've laundered 15,000. Okay. Let's see, deliver money over here. Deliver money up here. So right now the game is a little bit micromanagery in the in here in the beginning, but that's okay. It it becomes better because I try. I played along a little bit in a private save just to see why if I could get it to work, and I could. So that was nice. All right, need a little bit more money to be delivered, and then we have laundered. Uh, 25,000 so there's plus the 2,500 here that'll be enough okay deliver the money over here deliver the money up here and we'll be done laundering well, not done laundering, we'll keep laundering, but we'll be done with that quest. Alrighty. There we go. We've laundered enough money. Hector Alejandro Vio. And we have been granted a research center. All of this stuff we were missing last time. Oh, Hector, I'm so glad that you came. Do you recognize your Tio? Felix smirks, but the next second a shadow flitted across his face. But we don't have much time. Evidently the time is short because the times are hard. Uh, uh, good God gives us only as much as we can bear. There he is. Now I recognize my uncle. Why didn't you become a writer? Uh, that's because I'm a businessman, querido. So let's get down to business. There we go. I'll show you around and uh, tell you about my plans for the future. That way you'll be ready should anything happen to me. And for now you will help me around, Hector the Falcon. Felix, um, I mean Patron. You accept me into your organization in the rank of Falcon straight away? Thank you. All right, so now we have Felix here. And Felix uh, has two attack. So now we can actually go attack some uh, neighboring areas and stuff like that to get um, stuff going a little bit faster. We met, must get my brother's residence back. The bastards killed my dear Alejandrito and now they eat out of our heirloom silverware. I hope Hector wants to avenge his father as well. All right, so now we have some research, research workshop at Research Center in Tensaka. Build the workshop, deliver 60 units of packaged dried cannabis to any aerodrome. We also have Conquest. Conquer enemy residents by moving tenants inside. Turn on the new residence. Set bank as a destination. Set aerodrome as a nation. Launder 10,000 of dirty money. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move both our lieutenants over here because this has a strength of one. Uh, it doesn't say actually, but it does. And, oh, there it does, defending power one. And we'll be sending three attacking power, which means that we'll win a little bit faster and this terror level won't rise so fast. Now, we also need to start researching. So we have the research center and we need to research the warehouse. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, what else did we need to do? Nothing right now, I don't think. So, let's get going. Okay, so Felix is there attacking. You can see there's only one arrow now. There's Now there's like one and a half arrow, which means that we're winning faster. You can see up here the terror level, level is rising, but I, we should win fast enough that it's not too bad, I think. What do we have stored up here? 3,700. We have 2,400 here. We don't have in too much of anything anywhere. 
this is staying kind of steady. So this operation is actually pretty good for for one aerodrome. So five of these is decent for one aerodrome. All right. So we've almost won, which means that we get a residence. There we go. We have the residence. Let's turn it on. We'll set a bank as a destination and we'll set, and set the aerodrome as a destination. And there we go. And that's all good. And now, Hector here is a truck supplier, adds two cars to the building to improve logistics. And I'll also set, I think, I can't set the warehouses as a destination. That's a shame. Well, we'll move you over here. We'll move you over here. This is all set up, so all good. We have enough money to pay the bribes. Now our uh, residence here, it has three trucks. So it can start uh, sending stuff over here. Okay, let's deliver some money. get laundered no oh, we have the workshop nice all right so we researched the workshop and now now right now our trucks are going to bring all the money back to the warehouse which is really annoying because we don't actually want them to do that but once we get our workshops up and running, we won't be doing that anymore. So let's build a workshop. Uh, production workshop. And the workshop has a pretty long range, but we'll build it up here. Because then it covers all of them. There we go. And we will... Uh, tell our warehouses to not go to the aerodrome anymore because now we want to send all this uh, dried cannabis to the workshop and make it packaged cannabis and send it over there don't you need roads so we'll do this We'll do this, and we'll do this. Lately I keep having this dream. A green marijuana field is stretched all the way to the horizon. There's thunder, but the sky is crystal clear, and then begins to pour snow. No, snow doesn't look like that. The whole field is filled with white. Snowdrifts are growing. They grow so high that they touch the sun. Then, like resounding waterfalls, they collapse on the ground. We hear something piercing the ground with its sprouts and then rustling. And just like that, this endless field is filled with green dollars. A woman slowly approaches, approaches me, swaying her hips and her full breasts. She's smiling with a lewd, yet somehow also maternal smile. She gives me a shovel. I take it. The woman is falling to pieces. Gory body parts leaving bloody traces are trying to slip into the cracks, crawl under the stones, disappear into the grass. I wake up in a cold sweat. Hector, what's wrong with your face? Patron, I'm just a bit mm, tired. I've learned about coca production from some friends. They say cocaine requires two thirds of the storage space and costs four times as much. With your blessing, I could look into it. I think I understand my dream now, my hero. You're my blessing. I agree. I also think it's time for us to expand. Nice. Uncle, there's an efficient cocaine production in Rogandis. We could seize that production chain. Another option, fund the research center to obtain, obtain the necessary intel and build our own cocaine production chain. Either decision will have cons consequences, as you're well aware. What do you think? 
let's seize that production chain. We'll get a quest to uh, seize the cocaine production up here north. Let's build our own production chain. I think we should build our own production chain. I want to keep the terror level lo as low as possible for as long as possible. So we'll build our own. Uh, I don't want to attract any unwanted attention. We're businessmen, not thugs, my son. Okay, patron. All right. So we have research and automate. That's ongoing. Uh, this needs to be set as going to the warehouse or to the airfield here. So now the workshop is sending all of the dried cannabis over here on its own. All right, let's see. Is there any money here? Whoops. Uh, nope. Is there any money here? Yes, there is. Let's get that out of the warehouse. All right. So now we are making uh, packaged uh, drugs, which uh, means that we can send more drugs than we did before. Or more cannabis. Now, we need to do some research. We need to research. Let's see. Tier 2... We need tier two farms. Um, wait, do we have the produce cocaine? Yeah, so research farms, tier two, and produce 50 units of cocaine. So let's do that. Research farm, tier two. Research that. Okay. You move back here. Now, our residents here can't hold that much money. It's uh, quite annoying, actually. It can only hold, I think it's 10,000. Uh, but it is where there's no storage capacity, 2,500. So that's not a whole lot. It is what it is. All right. Now, now that we're making packaged uh, drugs, we earn more money from them. From sending 10 drug packs at a time. So that's really nice. Okay. Now, if we take a look at the layers overlay, so coca. Uh, where can we make coca most efficiently? Up here. So we can grow coca up there reasonably efficiently. Not as efficient as up here, but reasonably we, we have up here. So that's what we're going to do once we have the farm level two. Uh, I don't want that overlay on. Okay. See, there goes the residence truck and it's going to take the money to the residence and then bring it to the bank, which is a little bit inefficient, but it is what it is. How much money do we have over here? 3,700, we have 11 drug packs. So that's all good. Now, we need to... Oh, no, you need to go to the aerodrome. Uh, but these guys don't need to go to the aerodrome, and they're not good. I actually want to move over here. And I'll grab this stuff and bring over here. All right, farm two, we've got it. That's good. Let's move back over here and get that done. So now we've almost completed this one. Then we need to produce the cocaine research farm two, which we did. And let's go ahead and start building our farms up here. Uh, first thing first, a warehouse. Uh, let's get that overlay on. Okay, so we'll build the warehouse. Mm, I guess here. Uh, let's build it here. Okay. And then we need some farms, and we need quite a few farms, I, I think. Uh, we'll build 
four farms, I think, to start with. So one there, and we need to make sure that they're inside the zone of the warehouse. So there, that's four farms. Then we need a lab. Which we can build over here on the other side. Maybe. Oh, there was something. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we need a workshop. Uh, I still want that overlay on. The workshop can build. We can build here. Okay. Very good. That's all building. We don't have enough money to do the bribe right now. When is the bribe? In 13 days. Okay, so we will have enough money. All right, oh, we need roads, of course. Uh, let's see, gravel there. Gravel there, gravel there. Okay, and then we just need roads from all of these farms down to the warehouse. All right, that should do it. Oh, and we need to, damn it. Are we paused? We paused. We need to upgrade. And we need to switch to coca. Okay. So these guys are growing, unfortunately, cannabis right now. Right now, you need to go do cocaine, which means you need to be upgraded. We have the lab level two because we have Felix, I think it is. Uh, or not Felix, Hector. Access to lab 2, yeah. So you're doing cocaine. It takes 92 coca to make 3 cocaine. Uh, uh, you are going to do cocaine. And... We have this cannabis here, but that doesn't really matter. We, we can tell Hector to move it. Uh, let's deliver this stuff down here, and then we'll deliver the raw cannabis to this lab. Okay. Deliver. No, oh, move. Move. Uh, up here. We also want to buy... Uh, an area depot because we want the chemical feedstock here. So let's build that and we'll build the chemical field feedstock as well and we'll purchase 50 of this hydrochloric acid. Now our workshop here unfortunately can't. Uh, well, you know what we, what we can do? We can tell the warehouse to go there because it will then go grab this uh, uh, the chemicals that we bought and deliver it to the um, to the where to the lab which will use it to maybe make the co cocaine production more efficient now you need to deliver as much as you can of this down to this lab Okay, we're doing good. Now, right now, we don't actually have anywhere to sell this. Because if I remember correctly, uh, smuggling points. Uh, uh, this, the, yeah, the aerodrome can only handle one kind of resource at a time. So, we can't sell it sell our cocaine through the aerodrome which kind of sucks 
We actually have three uh, cocaine stored up. Five more. Okay. Now, this means that we need to take another place that we can smuggle, which I think we'll, we'll do, take down here. So we'll move you down there. And we'll move Felix down there as well and take this harbor. Now, this does mean that we need some way to disguise our drug packs here. Which means that we need to put it into vegetables or coffee or something. So let's do that. Oh, but we are out of time. So we're going to have to do it in the next one. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that uh, you're enjoying the game now that we actually have it working and we have all the different uh, functionalities unlocked. I don't know. What, I'm not sure what caused it last time that we didn't. I think it was because we started building down here, but I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, it works now and it's a fun game. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.